Then we've already found nice warm homes for four of these puppies in need. So help us out again. Pause for a cause is next with Brian. Oh my goodness. Open boxes to open, but we agree it's right to wait. Turkey and dressing after the blessing, and there's just a night to wait. Round and round the Christmas. Uh, as we have all week long, Steve, it's the last day of our Pause for a Cause series. And today, we have some small pause, which you saw a little bit last half hour. Robin Presnell is the executive director of Small Paws Rescue, Inc. It's the largest breed rescue in the country. Over the past 12 years, they've saved over 8,000 Bichons. Robin has brought us with us today. You might recognize him from past shows. Barr, Stanley, Aaron, Casey, and Taylor, who have been successfully adopted, and Chandler, who still needs a home. Welcome to all the dogs. Welcome back, and Thank welcome you. back to you, Robin. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. All right, first off, unlike the last segments, these dogs have homes except for? Chandler, and Chandler is for adoption. Okay. And Chandler came from a commercial kennel. Some people would call it puppy mill. He came from a place where he was pretty caged and didn't have much love or affection. He's been successfully fostered now, and he's ready for a home. And he will do great with kids over 10, and right. he must have another dog in the home. And here's what's great about this, and it's no small, I had a Collie, a German Shepherd. They only, they only live like nine, 10 years tops. Some of these dogs live 21 years, we right? We had a 22 year old. So this is one of the longest lived breeds. Right. And so, I mean, that's, that's a great thing, but when you're in rescue, that can also be a difficult thing because sometimes their owners, uh, pass away before the dogs and so we are, are constantly taking in senior dogs and right now we are overloaded we need volunteers all across the country we have our website where you can fill out an application to be a volunteer right. we also desperately need help with our vet bills now listen to this so you'll save uh, Bichon all across the country mm -hmm. and they need help so your vet bill last month was how much? Last week. Last week. week one last week, week. One week. Which was? Was, set, was $17,160 wow. in a week. So a lot of people watching right now say, you know, I just can't take another door. Go, we just don't have mm -hmm. a door. I'm allergic. The way they can help is? They can send a donation, a tax deductible donation. We're a 501c3 not-for-profit. Go now, to uh, our website. You've also developed many skills, but one of which is how to call a Bichon. <laughs> I saw it in the break. Can, does it come with a voice recording of you? Let's say, hypothetically, you want to get, uh, let me see. Uh, make Boris. Let's get Boris's attention. Boris! Boris! There you go. It's the beep. It's the Boris beep that gets his attention. Now, last time you were here, I commented that we had all Christmas. Yes, right? you did. You but did. You, also, you also noticed something else I said. Well, Boris is Jewish. And so we said last time he was Jewish, but he was wearing a red uh, Santa sweater to go along with the group. And you said, you need to get him a Hanukkah sweater. And look what you did. No, so his mama has him a Hanukkah right. sweater. So Boris is here. He lives in Manhattan. Yeah. All right. And, uh, but we really, we desperately need right. help for volunteers. And thank you all so much for having us Can I just here. point out something socially that's happening here. I see the Christmas dogs not hanging out with the Hanukkah oh, dogs. Oh no! Is there not any even way? Maybe, no. Can we can we see some interaction there? Yes, uh, yes, okay. we can. Boris, uh, can you get up from your nap? Hey, Boris. Uh, Boris is exhausted. Why a morning show? Why couldn't Hammer book me? Oh, I wanted to. I would love to be in at nine. I'd be wide awake now. Get wide awake now. That's fantastic. We are awake All right, now. So listen, take some action. Don't sit on the sideline. Make a difference. So if you don't go home uh, with a Bichon, even temporarily in a That's foster right. home, That's right. you can help out. And, and the, I'm sure vets are helping you out too, right? We are. They do give us discounts, but they still charge us. And okay. so uh, we have, you know, surgeries. We have life-saving right. things that are happening out every day. Right. And Bar Boris is very entertained by the smell <laughs> of the other dogs. We can it's see because it's a Christmas dog. It's because it's right. a Christmas dog, yes. All right. Uh, these are the Bichons. Uh, take some action, everyone. Foxandfriends.com. You'll find out more as well as your website. Thank have you. Have a great holiday. Bless your heart. All right. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you, Brian. Nice seeing you. Nice okay. seeing you. Okay. Uh, let's go over to the big couch. I'm so Good glad job. Brian was assigned those segments this week. He's done a fantastic he job has. with it. Good he, job, And he's Brian. added his own little spice to the whole. Indeed. <laughs> Christmas spice today. Right. All right. The dogs was not jumping before. Well, like they were in rehearsal. We, we saw. Uh, <laughs> yes. Like right. we Coming up on our show. Ba, 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 ba. Now and then when the world that we're living in 